Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another VP Concepts YouTube video. I almost did it again, guys. I almost opened these up without you. Um, got so excited when they came to the door. <laughs> I just started tearing them open. I was like, wait, wait, wait. I just got a picture of these posted on my Instagram, which is also VP Concepts for you guys that don't follow me over there. Feel free. Um, but uh, I, I went to open these and, and forgot to show you guys. Now, I know there's a lot of unboxing videos of these things, so, uh, you know, but I still like to share my excitement with you guys because, again, as of right now, I don't review products that um, I don't own. I don't have anything come in and out like some other reviewers, which, you know, I wouldn't mind that. It would be great, and maybe I'll get to that point. But right now, this channel's about everything that I invest in with my own money, everything that, that passes my scrutiny and makes it into my personal, you know, setups. So uh, the first thing for you guys who have not seen an unboxing, these are uh, a uh, seven Hertz timeless uh, in-ear monitors and they are plant planar. Uh, and as you guys know, from my last video, I got the Odyssey um, headphones and oh, you, you guys saw what I said about those uh, magic. So I had to get the IEMs because I'm using the old uh, Creative uh, Ottervana, I think they were called, Steve, Steve uh, Gutenberg, or Gutenberg, um, whatever it was, uh, Steve over there, Audiophiliac. He mentioned that he had them and I got them and they're a couple years old now, so it was time for something new. And here they are, just like the videos described. And really nice cable. This is silver plating. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not, we'll see. I like solid silver um, and or solid copper or hybrid, not really plating, but a lot of the guys uh, on their reviews said that they work. So we're gonna give them a try. But uh, here's a close up. They're very light and they're a lot smaller than I thought. On the videos, they look a lot bigger, but they're pretty small and they have a nice, really nice tangle free cable, a little gold plated uh, 3.5 connector. So yeah, I'm going to give these a try. Um, I think they also come with some earbuds as well. And there's been some opinion on which ones are better. I will give them a try. A little, li little literature there. A couple uh, extra filters in case you lose them. And uh, these must be the, ear the earbuds here. To, if I can get them out. There we go. So I guess the, the ones with the uh, yellow and blue, that's the ones that a lot of the guys are, are saying are, are better. So we'll give it a try. But uh, and there's another set here too. So you get a lot of different earbuds with this. That's kind of nice. Ear covers, whatever you call them. All right, you, know, you guys know I'm not into headphones that much. I had the Sennheiser HD 600s with the Axios copper cable. That kind of brought me um, back into the headphone world with the Axios because it really brought the HD 600s alive. Got me curious, did my research, found the Odysseys, fell in love with them, and I said, now I gotta have some new IEMs. So um, I'm gonna give these a try and give you guys my opinion. We're gonna fade to black just like we always do. I'm gonna give these a couple hundred hours, play different kind of genres on them, and from an audiophile's viewpoint, what in-ear monitors sound like compared to my big speakers or my $1,500 Odysseys. Actually, a little bit more with the carbon fiber headband. I think they were 1,700. So uh, with that, we'll be right back. We're gonna to fade to black and then we'll have my opinion. And with a wave of my hand, we are back. And uh, I have about 260 hours on these now, fully burned in, uh, lots of time with different cables, different um, uh, earbuds, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that in a minute. But first, before we get along with this, the rest of this review, um, I have an update for you. I got the Kimber Axios Copper in for the LCD XCs, and I uh, ran them in and listened to those and um, uh, have a, a brief overview of the difference between the Axios Copper and the uh, Silver Hybrid, Copper Silver Hybrid, and what I found. So we're gonna watch that really quick and then we'll get back to this. Hey guys, so I wanted to capture this on video for you guys because I've been messing around here. Um, it's in the evening time and I just got in a Kimber Cable uh, Copper Axios to try on the Odyssey um, LCD XCs. And these are my babies, as you know. And uh, I wanted to fill you in that compared to the, to the factory cable here, the, the Axios obviously is an upgrade, uh, the copper. 
um, it's beautiful, just like the one on my um, Sennheiser uh, HD 600s. And I was really thinking that this might add a little uh, smoothness to the top end, because uh, some, sometimes on, you know, like I mentioned in my last video with you guys on these, sometimes on instruments or, or on some of the deep house where there's a lot of uh, synthesizer or any kind of, you know, I'll give you a good example. The Art of Noise. You guys remember that with all the banging and the smashing and stuff? Yeah, that could be a little bright or a little over the top of the music and be a little bit edgy. But, uh, and I wouldn't even see edgy. It's just very detailed. And, and that's how it sounds in the recording, but it just comes out a little forward, a, a little loud on, on the um, on the planar magnetics. So it did not do that. <laughs> It every everything kind of kind of collapsed and and uh, although still good compared to right the factory cable, no. What what silver does, guys, is is it it actually just brings out so much clarity. Uh, the, the, everything just kind of opens up and widens out, and the the instruments literally like are, are outlined in the space. They're just so clear and precise, and you hear everything. And uh, I'm not willing to give that up uh, uh, for, for some recordings are a little bit not recorded perfect, right? Um, I think that this headphone is extremely true to, true to the source of the recording. And I don't want to take that away because taking this out, putting in the copper, I was like, oh, damn. Like, there's a reason this costs what it costs. It's well warranted. And I just feel, um, man, it's I just wish... The government handed out four thousand dollar checks to everybody, so, so you guys that have the factory cable can can experience a Kimber Cable Axios and uh, in, in the hybrid and the silver copper like like I have. It's mind blowing what this headphone can turn into with an upgraded cable. So um, I was I was kind of hoping the copper would be better. Be honest with you, but um, you get what you pay for with Kimber Cable, and it's priced accordingly. So with that, guys, um, uh, we'll get back to the other video. Take care. Okay, hope you guys like that. Um, I sure did. It was a cool experiment with those, uh, with those cables. So speaking of cables, the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys right away is um, this headphone's being held back. Uh, uh, a lot of forums said it was good, um, but I knew it wasn't <laughs> coming from my background. Uh, this cable, this stock cable, two core silver plated, no bueno. Okay, uh, four core or up and um, copper is what I found made these headphones turn next level. Uh, this this was terrible. And I know that a lot of the guys um, who, who had negative comments about the timeless uh, seven hertz, uh, as far as the peakness and the, and the treble and whatnot, it was there and it was a little bit stringent, um, a lot sometimes and uh, you know, some sibilance in there, and it was all coming from that cable. As soon as I changed the cable out, everything was fixed, okay? And so that's good news. That's good news for those of you who are buying this and, and have upgrade items like I do, and you wanna see how far you can take these headphones, get rid of that stock cable, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you a suggestion. I, I got these. This is the Triple Win Altea cable. It came from the Linsole store, and uh, it's nice. It has some gold plating on there on the 3.5 connector, it has gold plating on the um, MMCX connectors. Uh, really nice blue, purple, it turns purple in the dark and blue in the light, it's really cool. But this thing's really nice. And when I put it on here, the first thing that shocked me was how everything warmed up and everything expanded out. The soundstage got wider, deeper, uh, wider and deeper. So uh, I, I didn't expect that. I just thought it would smooth out the highs or make the bass a little bit better, but it did a lot more than that. So it really shows that these headphones are scalable um, earbuds, headphones, I may call them headphones during the review, but uh, they are very scalable to the source, to the um, earbud you use, to the cable you use. Matter of fact, um, I changed out the clear factory ones and put on the other ones in the case it came with, the, the dark blue with the white tips. These gave me the best, uh, hands down, the best sound. Okay, so um, I, I, I tell you, what happened is, what really shocked me is that with this triple win cable on here, it turned these timeless into my HD 600s. I, I would listen to them A, B, A, B, A, B, and I was so shocked at the similarities. However, um, the HD 600s were um, a little bit more 
uh, had a little bit more resolution, like there was a wind blowing in one of the songs and you could just hear a whoosh, but um, you know, with, with, with this in, as soon as I changed to the HD600s, you could hear a whoosh, but you could hear, hear the, the whistles inside of it. And that was not happening with this cable. So I realized, damn, I got rid of all that edginess and brightness, but at the sacrifice of a bit of detail, but I got smooth to highs, I got deeper bass, I got a wider, deeper sound stage. So it was worth the trade-off, but you know me, um, <laughs> OCD upgrade-itis. Uh, I uh, decided to see about getting a higher end cable for these and just see how, how scalable they were with their, their sound. Pretty much like I do with my big rig, right? I've gone from uh, 12VS Kimber to the, the Bifocal Xs to the Select, so uh, the, the KS6063s. So um, I, I understand the difference in a cable and, I, and, and obviously, hello, I've got my Copper Axios here. I've got my hybrid uh, Axios cable here, and these it affected dramatically, so why would it affect earbuds, right? It makes sense. So uh, I knew it was such a large change uh, from this cable, going to this cable from the stock, that if I elevated again, I, I'd probably be pretty happy. So um, I can't show the cable because it's a prototype and it's being worked on right now. Um, I'm just testing it. But what it did is it brought back that missing resolution that was, uh, uh, in this cable, but you're talking going from $39 to two to $400 or something like that. Well, it's not priced yet, but I assume it's gonna be around that price. So, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, obviously, as you scale. But uh, I could have lived very, ha very happily with these and enjoyed these headphones. So um, uh, with the upgrade to the next level cable, what happened is that resolution and detail came back um, and made these sound like the HD 600 so much that I, I couldn't believe it. I said, well, let me put the HD 600s on over my ears while I have these in and see if I'm just getting a effect of a different sound stage because the cups are over my ear and it's, it's fooling my, me into thinking there's a you know, wider sound stage or whatever. So I put them on, I laid back, I actually felt dozed off listening to the Timeless with the HD 600s, um, uh, you know, obviously unplugged, but sitting on my head. And I woke up and um, uh, just was listening to the music and set up for a minute. I was like, wow. And then I, and I totally forgot that I, that I wasn't playing the HD 600s. I, I was listening and I took them off to go get a drink and went, oh, the music's still playing. Oh, that's right, I got the, I got the Timeless in. So it fooled me. I thought I was wearing the HD 600s. So with that, I actually really started a being, a being, a being, back and forth songs with the HD 600s and the Timeless and realized that the Timeless was actually now pulling out a little bit, well, obviously some better bass right away. Um, not necessarily fuller, but deeper and faster and, 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 and more articulated. Um, uh, than the HD 600s. Also, the outlined instruments. There was more three-dimensionality and everything was layered, where with the HD 600, it was more two-dimensional. Um, but the signature, the balance was there of the two headphones. And what I realized is that I had created a baby between these two. It had the warmth and that mid-range sweetness of these, of the HD 600s, but it had that 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 quick bass, that planar magnetic fast response, that you know that dexterity uh, that, that the HD 600s didn't have. So I literally created a sound signature with a new cable and, and earbuds that perfectly balance out when I'm not wearing these two. It, it's magic. So um, you know I'm you know I'm not a statistics guy. What I can tell you is that um, you know. Uh, peaks and roll-offs and all that kind of stuff. No, uh-uh. Like, can I wear these damn things for four hours and smile the whole time? Yes. Can I listen to these as I'm falling asleep and um, wake up three, four hours later, the music's still playing, and I'm like, oh, man, I can't believe I fell asleep with these on. Yes, these do that. Do they make me smile? Do they make me feel connected to the music? Do they make me emotional? Yes, 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 yes. Everything that I look for in my larger system, this does. Now, one thing I decided to take further is, well, what if I plug these into my Macintosh ME7900 uh, instead of my Cobalt, uh, AudioQuest Cobalt? So uh, I, I did that, and again, everything scaled bigger and larger. I couldn't believe it. For the, I, I, I do have a question for you guys. The ME7900 has a kick-ass headphone input. I did not realize that. It's connected to the autoformers. 
just like the auto formers um, on my large speakers, I can hook it up to the eight tap or the eight ohm, four ohm or two ohm tap. Um, it, 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 those auto formers just let that speaker see that same resistance. It, does, it, it doesn't hurt it at all, the ohm loads. So they actually wired that headphone input to that. So um, it doesn't matter if I'm running my 600s, I'm running my Odyssey LCD XCs, or I'm plugging these in, it's, there's no hum, there's no hiss. It's completely black and, uh, and floored. And, and so I was trying to find anything I could on this headphone uh, input, again, because I thought about doing a separate headphone amp and really taking this next level, and I am still looking at getting a tube amp for the HD 600s, but, um, all I can find information wise from Macintosh is that it's a high current headphone. That's it. It doesn't say how many watts. Um, so the PS Audio does. It's 3.5 watts on the um, gain cell DAC, three, three and a half watts at a certain ohm load, and it's uh, class A. But I can't find class A, class B, how many watts, or anything on that headphone, but it sounds incredible, and I really don't think I need to upgrade, to be honest with you, unless I want to get that tube sound. So I did, I took a pillow, because I obviously can't stretch this as far to the couch like I can these two. And I, I, I laid there for an hour and I just listened to these and was just, God dang, man, this sounds so much better than even my Dragonfly now. Uh, and they're just so scalable. So they, these should be $1,000, 800 to $1,000. They, once you get the cable change, once you get the earbuds change, once you have them plugged into a good source, they will astound you. Um, I've never, I, I just can't believe how happy I am with these. Um, and another big, big thing, guys, uh, just like they were criticizing the cable and measurements with that piece of crap, how you place these in your ear has everything to do with how it's going to perform. If you push it too far down in the canal, everything gets fuzzy. The bass gets bloated and fuzzy. If you have them too far out, everything gets uh, thin. The imaging gets, or the sound stage gets good, but everything gets thin. So what I found is I just set them in, gently tap them once and I take my ears and I bend them forward like this and it almost seals them or just seats them into my ear canal perfectly. I actually did it by mistake. I had an itch and I went like this and the left ear started sounding really good compared to the right ear. And I was like, what? And I started going like, and every time I put them on now, I go like this. So uh, that's how it worked for me. So yes, placement of these. Once they're in properly, um, and I would test this with picking a song that has an upright bass, um, that the plucks that you can hear each individual finger strike and everything's fast and you can hear the transients, the, the scrapes, the boom, boom, boom. You, you, you push them in too far, everything's boom, 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 bait, bloated, bassy, you can't hear any of the separate strings. So um, some guys might just be putting these in too far to try to seal them and get that nice airtight seal and it ruins everything. So um, yeah, that, that's, that's my uh, whistle stop tour of these. Headphones, uh, go get them, run, grab them. Uh, two of my subscribers and friends already purchased these and are singing the praises of them. They bought it with this cable. It's 39 bucks at the uh, uh, same store that you get the Timeless at through the Linsole. Um, get rid of that stock cable ASAP. Um, and uh, hey, next month, it's gonna be awesome, guys. I'm upgrading the network in the house. We're getting Audiophile, Wireworld, um, uh, uh, Ethernet cables. We've got some iFi, uh, 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 wall warp purifiers and um, DC purifiers, uh, a new switch, um, a new a new Nighthawk router, and a PS Audio power cord uh, to go inside of the inside of the box where the Ethernet is, and just gonna hook everything up fat so we can have title um, trying trying to compete against my CD player <laughs> when I'm streaming because I like title so much. Okay, so with that, I'm so happy I was able to put this out. So happy I could uh, uh, give you an update on the Axios for the uh, LCD XCs, the copper one. This was a fun video to make. I'm so passionate about music, and now that I've created a portable, high-end portable sound wherever I go, that is literally the baby between these two, I'm freaking happy as hell. So um, with that, guys, I'll uh, talk to you next time. Thanks so much for watching. See you next month.